Hey everyone, if you are looking for ways to import your Android Studio projects, especially your older Android Studio projects into the latest version of Android Studio Iguana, you have come to the right place. In this video, I will step by step guide you how to import, build and run your Android Studio projects into the latest version Iguana. For this demonstration, we will be running the code using an Android virtual device also known as an emulator. So let's get started. Open Android Studio. As you can see, I am using Android Studio Iguana. Click New Project. Select Empty Activity and click Next. Write the project name, package name, select the save location and leave the minimum SDK and build configuration language as it is. Click Finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your empty project. Once your empty project is ready, click App, Kotlin plus Java, click on the package name and I will put all my Java files inside that. But first, let me unzip the project folder. The Java files for this project should be located inside App, SRC, Main, Java, Com, Sandeep Bhattacharya, Flappy Bird. Just copy all the files from there and paste inside the package. You can now delete the main activity.kt file since it is no longer needed. Next, create a new folder called layout inside res folder. I am coming back to this folder later. Let me grab the image resources from main res drawable folder and paste inside the drawable folder of this Android Studio project. Next, I will copy the layout resource files and paste inside the layout empty folder of this Android Studio project. Next, open themes.xml file inside values folder and add this theme inside the resources tag. Next, open AndroidManifest.xml and change the attribute value of Android colon theme. Delete the Android colon label attribute from this activity tag. Next, we need to add two activity tags, one for game activity and another for game over activity. And for this last two activities, intent filter tags are not required since they are not launcher activities. We also have to remove the Android colon theme attributes from these three activities. Next, open game activity and simply delete the at nullable annotation. Next, go to game over class and remove these two problematic import statements. Also, delete the nullable annotation in onCreate parameter. Click App Compact Activity, press Alt Enter and click Add Dependency and Import. Now wait for some time for the Gradle to configure the project. Next, open Main Activity. Remove the problematic import statement. Click App Compact Activity, press Alt Enter to import the correct package. Next, open activity underscore main dot xml layout resource file and remove android colon on click property. Open main activity dot java and declare an image button in the class scope. Inside on create, instantiate the image button using find vyid method. So, we need to set an on click listener to this image button.
when this button is pressed the on click method gets triggered so we will copy these three lines of code from start game method into this on click method you can now remove the unused start game method definition change this to main activity dot this since this is inside an anonymous inner class run the project oops i forgot to include the raw folder containing the sound effects inside res folder just copy this raw folder and paste inside the res folder you can now stop the cradle build process and click the run button again to start building and running the app i am going to change the view mode to window for the abd The program just got crashed. Let's check out the logcat messages for errors. Like we said earlier, we need to remove the line android colon theme from all the activity tags in android manifest. Let's do that. Let's remove the android colon theme attribute from all the activities. Let's run the app again. Click the play button to begin playing the game. Perfect. By the way, the game runs more smoothly in an emulator with an older API level. For example, I am using API level 28 with Nexus 5X mobile. Hope you have enjoyed the video and learned something new. Now, if you are interested in making Android games using Android Studio and Java, I have included some of my course links in description for you to check out and enroll in. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Take care.